It is so obvious that there is a lot of stuff that is going on in our world, in our country, all around us, 24-7, seven days a week. Things are changing rapidly, and we really need to be paying attention to what is taking place. We have the Russian-Ukraine war. We have things in the Middle East that are heating up between Syria, Iran, and Israel. We have the front over in the Pacific that is really starting to explode, as I have reported before on this channel, between North Korea, South Korea, China, Taiwan, Japan. Everything is changing on a daily basis, really hour by hour. The uncontrollable weather here in the United States this year has just been a devastating part of what is to come for our country alone. And what do we do? We have to make sure that we're being ready and planning for the inevitable because we cannot predict the future. In our ever-changing world, it has become clear that we are in a treacherous path filled with many challenges that seem to be spiraling out of control as we speak. Governments around the globe seem more focused on their own interests and agendas, often neglecting the needs of the people they are supposed to be representing. As a result, millions of individuals in every corner of the world remain uninformed and ill-equipped to handle the dangers that lie ahead. Being that I am part of Generation X, we were the generation of independence and self-reliance. It was taught to us. We lived it day by day. We experienced a range of economic and political shifts throughout our lives and a lot of really cool things too. But we always had to fall back on ourselves, our independence, and our self-reliance giving us a unique perspective on resilience and adaptability. With this in mind, I encourage you to return to the basics of preparedness, equipping yourself with the necessary skills and knowledge to face life's uncertainties head on, because we have to stand for ourselves. Preparedness basically is a manufactured concept, and it is often put off by a lot of people, with many people reluctant to be associated with the label of a prepper. However, given the turbulent times that we live in right now, folks, it is essential that we prioritize our well-being and the well-being of those we care about by embracing the fundamentals of survival. Since March of 2020, an increasing number of people have started recognizing the importance of preparedness, learning from past experiences and vowing not to be caught off guard again. It is our sole responsibility to take control of our very own future, using the information at our disposal to create a comprehensive plan that caters to the needs of ourselves and loved ones. These strategies and tactics employed by governments have been carefully crafted over the years and their execution has now begun. This is no longer a mere game of risk, but a struggle for survival for many. The key to humankind's continued existence lives in the hands of those who are prepared and well-versed in the art of self-reliance. In the midst of a recession, countless individuals face financial hardships, struggling to afford even the most basic necessities, despite reassurances from the governing bodies that the situation is temporary, that re reality remains that people are grappling 
with mounting challenges day after day after day. Drawing on my experiences throughout my life, I urge you to heed this warning and to ensure you that you are ready for any situation before the full scope of these agendas become clear. They have a plan. They don't include you. Your own adaptability and resourcefulness are critical to counteracting the far-reaching plans of these world leaders. Develop a survival plan rooted in self-sufficiency and commit to it without concern for the opinions of others. Your primary focus at this time should be on guaranteeing the safety and well-being of yourself and your loved ones. Preparedness is a key to navigating the storm that is already upon us. As we brace ourselves for the unfolding of these global agendas, remember that our re- Resilience and independence are very underestimated. Stand firm, remain persistent, and refuse to let them prevail. Embrace the wealth of knowledge available through various channels to become well-equipped and resilient in the face of adversity. The storm is here. The world leaders are posed to execute their agendas jeopardizing our rights and access to essential resources. Now is the time to prepare yourself and your family to weather the storm and emerge stronger on the other side. But don't you wait till it's too late. Take action now to ensure your future survival in this world for you and your family. Thank you for joining me on this video today. I am Survival Preparedness for Beginners. You all stay safe, you keep prepping, and you do what you have to do to ensure your family will be taken care of. I'm out.